Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. Today we're going to be diving into Begin by Zoho CRM. This video will overview how it works, how it operates, and the elements of this customer operation CRM to give you an idea if it's right for you and your team. Now this video is a sponsored overview. You can check out the link in the description for a 15 day free trial and an exclusive 50% discount. So I want to dive into the features, but first I want to overview, I guess, why and who this is best suitable for. So Begin by Zoho CRM offers you a customer operation style CRM, allowing you to manage a wide variety of experiences. One of the things that they do have from the get go is templates. So you can use this in a wide variety of situations. Some of the popular templates are, for example, sales, event management, real estate, legal, used car sales and education. But it's designed for small businesses moving away from that sort of daily management of their CRM and deals and pipeline from, say, like a simple Google spreadsheets or spreadsheets in general over to something more comprehensive. And the sort of key areas or key highlights that make them uh, special is the sort of mobile element. You can get access to this on a wide variety of devices. It's also affordable and it is easy to use. Now I'm going to overview how it operates. So let's dive in. You can create some different pipelines. And as you can imagine, you can create custom filters over the top to save you a lot of time. Now inside of Begin by Zoho, you can actually manage uh, all of your deals in all of your wide variety of situations, but you can also manage the contacts, the companies, and different elements of the experience. What's cool is you can manage your deals and your deals can be adapted in this page. There's a high level of customization inside of the settings for each pipeline. This can be used in a wide variety of situations like marking the progress of your deal from the initial stages to discussions to work in progress to a closed win. So it's really flexible and inside of settings you can go into much more detail. As I said at the top, you can modify whether you're changing your pipeline or moving over to another one and even using some of the filtering that, for example, if you're using a sign of a small team can be helpful to create your own view for the day ahead. You can also connect contacts. You can actually upload them in a bulk format and you can also do this with companies as well. Contacts is actually a great location for managing who the people you're talking to and companies is great for managing a collective overview. As you can imagine, over time, your contacts might change in the company. So that's why they're separated and handy to be able to monitor. You can also add products, and these are particularly helpful when you're managing your deals. Because if you, for example, created a deal and you wanted to be able to see that you had the 300 products associated with that deal and to have the outcome of that managed all the way through the process, then that really does help because it not only provides an insight into when the sale has been performed, so you can add as many products as you like and be able to keep track of that per deal as well. One of the handy things is if you're moving from another service, you can bring in all sorts of information and import it into the template that you've chosen, including products, services, deals, companies, contacts, and much more. Activities is a really helpful area. You can keep track of any tasks that are coming up with due dates, status, priority related to and owners, as well as any events that are coming up too. And you can even use some of the more advanced filtering to make sure that you keep on track of what is yours and what is other people's, but also much more granular insight into what work you need to be doing. This is perfect for tracking events and tasks that are associated to specific deals. And you can also manage dashboards as well. Begin by Zoho CRM comes with a pre-built and customized dashboards for an easy way to zoom out and see whatever. Now, in terms of the deals process, you can simply drag things from the different stages of the pipeline. And if you click into each of your cards, you'll get a wide insight of knowledge about the timeline, the notes, the activities, the emails that have been interacted with, stage history, file and products, as well as all of the related contact and company information, tags and much more. 
but in a really consumable experience as well. This is particularly helpful for passing over different deals to certain team members. And to be honest, when you're managing a lot of information, particularly when it comes to notes and activities, and even emails that have been transferred between a certain client and a company, it's really helpful to have all of that clarity so you don't miss anything when you're trying to close a deal in the future. So when it comes to that side of stuff, there's actually quite a high level of customization when it comes to the workflow. Inside of settings, you can set up some really powerful ways to save yourself some time. So for example, when you want to trigger an automatic action when records match specific criteria, you can actually trigger email alerts, create tasks, update fields, and even tag or untag matching records. This is really helpful for when you've got your pipeline set up and you want to be able to make it pretty consistent and pretty easy to manage over the experience. And this can all be done inside of settings. While we're on the topic of settings, you can also customize your pipeline and settings as well as set up stage transition rules, which are perfect for saving you time as well. So transition rules are particularly helpful because they let you specify fields that need to be filled by users when you move from a deal from one stage to another. This is particularly helpful for the administration of tasks to be pretty foolproof so you don't miss anything when you're transitioning to the next stage of the process. You can also manage fields in a much higher level of detail, being able to capture the right information per deals, contacts, companies, products, and, and much more, including the likes of the activities as well. From the settings, you can also manage your user controls and organization, but there's a huge element to this that can really be unlocked, and that's the integrations and toppings. Inside of Bigin by Zoho CRM, you can actually connect up all of the other Zoho services like Zoho Books, Zoho Desk, or Campaigns, or even Zoho Meetings. You could also integrate your other experiences like Zoom, MailChimp, Office 365, Google, Zapier, and much more. This in particular is really helpful for being able to keep connected with existing accounts for example, when you've booked a meeting, to be able to, be able to populate your Google Calendar instantaneously is a huge time saver. And potentially, if you were to use Zoom, then you could, for example, have that set up so it automatically creates a meeting link there, which makes it a really seamless part of the experience. They've also taken this approach with the email side of stuff, but also the phone side of stuff. They have a telephony service where you can either create a PBX contact center, or if you don't have an account, you can set up using Zoho's built-in contact center. But you, for example, if you already had one that was connected and you wanted to connect to your phone that you use to manage your calls, then you can connect a wide variety of providers. But you can also create one from scratch as well. Now, heading back to the email side of stuff, you can naturally be able to manage email and send email outwards. You can, for example, share your emails via a workflow, creating email sequences for almost any customer operation. So one thing you can do is you can actually connect a Twitter profile and that will connect to your organization's Twitter profile and it will help your organization keep track of all the companies and contacts and what they're tweeting about to give you context around anything that you might need to know. So this is a tool that is used by small business owners, solopreneurs, freelancers, agencies, and startups. And it's really designed for that natural transition from moving from spreadsheet to CRM. You can check out Big and by Zoho as it has a forever free plan for businesses to get started. And the paid edition starts at just $7 per user per month. You can check it out in the link description. There is also a deal offered by Zoho, which I'll include that is very specific to us. So if you want to check that out, you can below. So folks, hopefully that was a helpful overview of giving you what's inside of Begin by Zoho CRM. It offers pretty wide range of abilities and it's much more friendly, easy to use, and I guess mobile and affordable for those who are out there. So well worth checking it out and I'll put all the links in the description. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Cheerio.